All right, today is a good day because the Mylochromus have spawned again. And I was getting really nervous that they wouldn't. They bred about five or six months ago, but I haven't gotten them to do it since. And I was really nervous because I love this species. And this is a fish that you just can't buy anywhere for some reason. Anymore, you just can't find them. So I was very nervous that I would not be able to continue this line that I have. But they've bred again. So we're gonna pull the fry today. We are going to strip the eggs from the female and artificially raise them. Now I'm gonna show you how we do that. And let's see if we can get a shot of the female that's holding. There we go, it's the one on the right there. Right there. You can see how her throat looks a little swollen. It almost looks like she's holding something in her mouth because she is. Well, hopefully at least, she should be holding a, a bunch of eggs. So what we're gonna do is try to catch her without stressing her out too much. Uh, she's only been holding for a day. They just bred yesterday. And normally I would not strip a female that fast. I would typically give her uh, about three or four days. But because I'm so nervous about being able to breed these guys again, I don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to go ahead and, and try to get them now and raise them artificially. I netted out the female and it's always a bit of a challenge to catch them without scaring them too much. Because sometimes if you startle them, they'll actually spit the eggs in the tank or in the net, which isn't what we want. But we caught this one without issue. And I like to use a shallow white container when stripping them. The white helps see the fish and eggs better, and the shallow is enough to keep them comfortable in water, but not so much that they can jump out. And the tool we're going to use is a bobby pin. This is the best tool I've found for stripping African cichlids. It's got a nice well-rounded tip that won't hurt the female's mouth. It's also rigid, yet you can still bend it into a shape that's easy to hold with a straight edge that can go right into the fish's mouth. And the next step is the trickiest, because you want to firmly grasp the fish without hurting her. What I like to do is grab them from behind the... Oh, okay. Well, like, like I said, sometimes you startle them too much, and they actually spit the eggs prematurely. But I, I think this one still has some eggs in her, so we're still going to strip her artificially. So we're going to just grasp her gently yet firmly... I like to keep my thumb and index finger behind her eyes so that I'm not scratching them, usually right along the gill plates. I also like to make sure I've tucked the fins back along her body rather than forcing them to be at an awkward angle. So we grab her, keep her at right about water level so that she can still breathe, and then we just take the bobby pin and gently find the opening in her mouth and ever so gently pull it open so that she starts sort of coughing up the eggs. And we'll do this two or three times, and then we'll let her back into the water to calm down a bit and make sure she can really get a good breath. And then we'll pick her back up and go again until we're sure that she's gotten all the eggs out. It can take several attempts. And she may actually pick some of the eggs back up in the intervals, so keep an eye out for that. We also found a second female to be holding, and this one had pretty mature fry at the free swimming stage. So we needed to get them out as well and start feeding them separately. So we've been temperature acclimating the eggs in the tank that I'm going to artificially hatch them in. I'm actually not sure if temperature acclimating is necessary when they're still in the egg, but I'm doing it just to be safe. And we're gonna put them in this egg tumbler. And the egg tumbler, the base, this is the base. You can get these in a lot of different places. Most local fish stores or online fish stores. Uh, even, you know, Amazon. I don't like supporting Amazon. But if you need one fast and cheap, then you can get it there too. But the base looks like this. And it has this sponge on the bottom. And you attach it to this top here, which has a riser tube that goes up to where you put an air stone in through and then basically the air will draw water through the bottom piece lifting all the eggs up and then when they get up to a certain point they'll kind of fall back down and go back up and it tumbles them uh, not exactly the way they would be tumbled in the mother's mouth but it, it's a good approximation 
and it's sufficient to keep the eggs alive, keep them from molding or developing fungus. Now I'm just going to carefully pour them inside this tube. I'm going to keep it in the water so that they don't like hit a dry hard surface. So I'm going to keep it submerged. Just kind of dump the eggs in and here we go. All right, so now we just got to attach the top. So the top just kind of fits nice and snug over the base. And then we're going to just kind of slide it into the holders here. Okay, so we moved the air stone farther down the tube. You, you want to get it as far down as you can go. And then you want the top to be about halfway submerged. You want the water to be able to escape with the air, but you don't want it to be so submerged that you're adding more resistance. And then you'll have to finagle with it, mess with your air pressure and the, the height of the, the tube. And uh, you just have to kind of manually dial it in. All right, there we go. That is more like the kind of tumbling that I like to see in my egg tumblers. It's not throwing them around a crazy amount, but it's definitely getting them moving. So that's a good that's a good level there. I'll leave the airflow where it's at, and we'll come back to this later. And wouldn't you know it, the fish are at it again. So I'm really happy here. I love this species, and I'm really looking forward to spreading them around the hobby. In two to three weeks, the eggs we have now will hatch, and we'll start feeding them. If you'd like to see a video on how you can raise the fish from that point on, let me know, drop it in the comments, and I can put something out. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Take it easy.